uh, thank you so much for your attention. My name is Andrea Figueiredo, uh, and uh, I'm here speaking in behalf of uh, the Association of Specialist Nurse in Medical Surgical Nursing from Portugal. That is an association that I I share uh, in in this moment. Uh, this uh, is not a completely uh, finished study. This is a project that we want to develop uh, in this um, this year uh, in um, in Portugal. Uh, the authors uh, are all of them from our associ association. So uh, in. In Portugal, uh, the specialized training in medical surgical nursing has been regulated uh, since 1982. Uh, in Portugal, just to make a big context for, for you to understand, there are six different specialties for, uh, in the nursing. Uh, the medical surgical nursing is one of uh, these specialties. It's a big one, maybe the bigger. Uh, inside the medical surgical nursing, we have four different recognized areas. Um, these areas, these, these recognized areas or uh, subspecializations, um, are uh, well, uh, were regulated in the 2018. So it's very recent, it's something uh, new that are still implementing. Uh, this was the last regulation of our specialty and these four areas are person in critical uh, situation, person in chronic situation, person in palliative situ situation and person in perioperative situation. And uh, I decided to keep the person in all of the four just for for explain you that for uh, us it is very important um, to keep here the person because it's not just the name of the speciality uh, it's the way uh, as we portuguese see uh, the um, care the nursing care it's about the the center is the patient and not the pathology so all of our specialities are focused in the patient, in the person, not in the, the disease. So, uh, as I said before, this is very new and so in Portugal is not defined uh, inside the big specialty uh, medical surgical nursing um, where are the nurses in which areas. So, uh, because this is a noun, uh, our association um, wants to to study it, so to, they know, say. to to know uh, to know more about uh, about it, to know uh, where uh, how many medical surgical specialist nurses are exercising their specific skills, uh, in what area, if their professional expertise is recognized, because we have a lot of uh, specialized nurses, uh, but is, uh, our specialization is uh, academic, mostly, mostly academic, uh, but uh, they are not paid like specialized, they are not in that, uh, in the career yet. Uh, so we want to know about this uh, and uh, in which uh, specific area do they work and what challenge they face because uh, it looks to us and um, our, uh, our uh, colleagues, our associates came to us with a very, uh, a lot of doubts uh, about uh, it's, it's good for me to be in a specific area. I will lost something from the big speciality. Should I keep in the big speciality? So it's a lot uh, of uh, um, challenge here to, to face. So what we decided, uh, our first aim 
um, is to uh, do a sociodemographic characterization of the medical surgical specialists nurses to know their distribution across these four recognized areas of specialization and identify their main concerns regarding the future. Uh, we um, are hoping to uh, in the final of the study to do a, a document uh, about questions and answers for the nurses to um, help them uh, to answer uh, their questions and their doubts. Doubt. This uh, document we already uh, talked before with our, our college, our national uh, college from medical surgical nursing, from our national regulator, from from nursing uh, and uh, uh, we are expecting doing this uh, Q&A document together. So about the methodology, uh, methodology. Uh, this is a cross-sectional uh, and descriptive study is uh, something very simple that will include all the medical and surgical specialist nurses working in Portugal, uh, mainland, ma mainland and Iceland uh, that accept to participate. Uh, it will be uh, an online anonymous questionnaire uh, and uh, we'll have three different sections, sociodemographic characteristics, professional characteristics in the present and future of medical medical surgical specialist nursing in Portugal is in this last one we will put we have already we did it uh, we um, we have the questions about the doubts the fears the challenge uh, from this uh, uh, this uh, recent change of the speciality so we don't have yet results because we didn't apply yet the online questionnaire but uh, we have in the page uh, the website of our national uh, regulator the numbers uh, of the um, nurses uh, specialized that, uh, that, that exists uh, nowadays so uh, in 2020 when we did the, the, the project um, 4,501 nurse uh, were specialized in medical surgical nursing. Now, uh, today, uh, it's 4,610 uh, uh, nurses. From these ones, uh, there are 151 from person in critical situation, there are 41 from person in chronic situation. There are uh, 137 in from person in palliative situation. And there are 95 from person in perioperative situation. So this, this, uh, these numbers uh, just show us what we are already uh, are, uh, we, we already know what we are asking from answers. Uh, so there are a big gap in the number of the nurses that exist with the big specialty and between the numbers that are distributed in the four different areas. Uh, there are a gap around 90% 90, uh, 90 of the specialized nurses uh, are not distributed in these four areas so why why is this happening um, this study uh, we hope this study will uh, will allow us to know the distribution of the medical surgical nurses within the speciality and the reason why nurses aren't yet in the subspecializations because there are a bureaucratic process too it's not something uh, they they must uh, um, they must do a administrative uh, documents and to do a curriculum to um, to identify this uh, uh, subspecialization. Uh, a project limitation: why we didn't apply yet this uh, this uh, online questionnaire is because uh, in the last our association. Um, is from volunteers. Uh, all of us are nurses. In the last months, months since December, we are uh, all overloaded 
with uh, work about the, the current COVID-19 pandemic. We know that the COVID-19 pandemic is not excuse for everything, but it's real that uh, all of us are very tired and all of the nurses are tired from uh, answering to questionnaires about COVID, about uh, um, work conditions and so on and so on. Uh, and a lot of them are uh, not answering to these kind of things so we are waiting uh, and maybe in final of march uh, beginning of april we will um, we will uh, uh, put the the online questionnaire um, working to to uh, online working online to to be uh, able to all of the nurses answering so in in conclusion this study will be uh, will be will characterize for the first time the medical surgical specialist nurse in portugal and the, and know their main concerns so it's very urgent in our perspective to do this study uh, because it will give us information to promote the medical surgical specialist nursing and so to defend all our patients who need our specialized care uh, and to um, work with the policy makers and with public opinion and we think this is the right time to do it because the uh, specialist nursing medical surgical in these four areas uh, are in this moment um, very needed in portugal so it's the right moment to do it. Thank you for your attention. Muito obrigada from Portugal. And uh, I uh, let you with uh, our contacts, myself and from our association and with a picture from Coimbra uh, for you to, um, to visit us after this pandemic. <laughs> it's a nice and sunny city.